What you guys got another video why do we need windows updates it seems a lot of you guys are using old software following up from yesterday's video and some people took it a bit personal in the comment section and sort of attacked a little bit at the end of the day i'm about bringing awareness to my audience and that's exactly what i'll continue to do on this channel now whether you update windows is entirely up to you and whether you use end of life software old versions of Windows or old versions of uh, Microsoft software on your PC is entirely your choice. But Windows updates are essential because the needed security patches that can help to protect your computer from malware and other security threats. They also deliver new features and also improvements uh, that can make your computer experience better, according to Microsoft. And also Windows updates will improve your computer security by patching up holes that hackers can exploit. By keeping your computer updated, you make it more difficult for hackers to access your personal information and use your computer to commit crimes. Updates will also help protect you from new types of malware that are constantly being created every single day. By installing the latest security updates, you can help keep your computer safe from these threats. Now, new updates often include fixes for vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit to gain access to your computer. Hackers are busy all the time finding new ways and trying to find a way to gain access to your computer. Now, normally, as soon as a security vulnerability is discovered by Microsoft, they release the patch through the Windows Update system. Now, these security vulnerabilities are found by Microsoft and other security experts, which are malware companies that actually find vulnerabilities with Microsoft's own operating system and then contact Microsoft and give them the information they need to try and fix or patch these vulnerabilities that they have found. So they're looking for security flaws in software and in code in the operating system itself. So updating to the current operating system helps you protect your business and your home computers. Now, also upgrading to the most current Windows operating system is important to keep your organization secure. Uh, we know firsthand from the NHS saga when it was hit with ransomware, where it was causing millions, if not a billion pounds of damage to the actual infrastructure of the NHS, which is our hospital system in the UK. And of course, if you don't know what operating systems they were using, they were using Windows XP and Windows 7 on all of the computers and devices in that hospital network. So when I read comments about, I've been using old versions of Office and I've never had any problems, you're talking about yourself. You're not talking about the bigger picture, which is the whole world that could be using older versions of software or even operating systems, which would leave them vulnerable. So assuming that it's not happened to you yet doesn't mean it won't happen or it won't happen to other people. It takes just one person to make one mistake on a network that is vulnerable, that hasn't been patched or had any sort of security updates for a number of years, and it can bring that network to its knees just like it did with the nhs attack which took place in 2017 it literally took down the whole uh, network and encrypted all of the computer's files in may 2017 WannaCry become the world's most notorious ransomware hitting around 230,000 computers globally in one single day one day 230,000 computers now, there was a vulnerability which was used, uh, which mentions it there. And you can see Microsoft quickly created a patch, but any PC that has not been updated since was published remains vulnerable. So all those computers that haven't been patched since would have been vulnerable. And that can be any computer that is end of life. It won't receive any updates. So that is going to be a vulnerable computer. So... You're talking about millions and millions of pounds of damage created by cyber criminals attacking an organization which cares for people. At least 80 out of the 236 NHS trust in the UK were affected by this virus, in addition of 603 primary care and other NHS organizations. That's 595 GP practices which were here. So when I read silly comments where people say nothing's happened to me yet, thinking the whole world revolves around just them, 
the world is a big place and it happens to people all the time. And this is brought uh, big major companies or infrastructures down to their knees. It costs absolute millions of pounds. In fact, you can see here it says 67 million estimate uh, to recover from this uh, major attack. And also you can see right there, another survey found that 81% of healthcare organizations in the UK were the victims of ransomware attacks in 2021. So you wanted proof in the comment section, there's your proof right there. You can see the devastation that happens when systems are not updated and exploits are used against computers on the network. It's quite serious. And it's normally through uh, the office suite that is being affected through the mail clients and things like that. And you can see more than 21 million items of malicious activity blocked every month on the NHS alone in the UK. And these are facts. They're on the NHS website. You can read all about it yourself. I don't have to make this stuff up. It's right there in black and white. And it's not just the UK, it's America, it's a load of places around the world that are being attacked every day and exploits are being used every day. So if you don't have your system patched or updated, you are vulnerable and it doesn't matter how good of an expert you are or you think you are, you are not going to be able to lock down that system to protect yourself against uh, ransomware or any other type of nasty uh, exploitation that people use. This is WannaCry in action. I made a video on this uh, quite some time ago. And you can see, it tells you that the file is related to Microsoft. Of course, it's a malicious file. It's WannaCry. It's a ransomware file. And this could come as an attachment. And you can click on it. And straight away, your data will be encrypted. And this is how devastating uh, ransomware is. And with WannaCry, it's going to go right across your network and encrypt just about all the other computers and devices that are plugged into that network, they'll all be encrypted too. So this is the devastation of uh, WannaCry in action. I made a video on it some time ago, as you can see here, and I'll show you exactly what happens here. All of your data will be encrypted. There'll be no way of getting that data back. There's no simple case of renaming the files. They're gone. They're encrypted, and the uh, cyber criminal will hold you to ransom uh, for a sum of money to release you from that encryption. And there's no guarantee that that's going to happen. And you can see the files here that are starting to encrypt here. And uh, this will happen in the background. You won't even notice it until it's too late. Once the process is started, there's no way of reversing it or stopping it. And uh, it's too late. Once you go to open it, you can see it's already done its damage. Try and open the file and it'll be a black file like this. And there'll be no information there. Try and open these other files and you can see they're now stopping you and blocking you from opening them. And once you go in here, you'll see that it would be video files, text documents, any type of uh, document that you have on that system, it's going to encrypt it. And this is just one ransomware called WannaCry and it was using an exploit which was on a Windows system to be able to infiltrate your system and cause mayhem. And again, this done massive damage around the world uh wanna cry and there you go that is the end result of wanna cry right there and you will then be asked to pay in bitcoin to the cyber criminal and you'll have a countdown clock there and there it is and i tried to show you a list here of some of the vulnerabilities for office and these are all for office and this is from 2016 here and there's a long list of them as you can see now, this one is a security update which resolves vulnerabilities in Microsoft Office. The most severe of the vulnerabilities could allow remote code execution if the user opens up a specially crafted Microsoft Office file. An attacker who successfully exploited the vulnerabilities could run uh, the obituary code in that context of the current user. So, for people that are not updating their version of software, they are vulnerable because they're not going to receive any more patches for that particular software. And that includes the operating system as well. If you're using an outdated version of operating system from Microsoft, you are not going to receive patches. You can see one right here. Microsoft information disclosed a vulnerability. That means your, all your information that you're typing in that document is going to be disclosed to that person on the other side if they use an exploit to see. And this could be your sensitive information, like banking information, 
personal uh, information that you're typing in those documents. This is just one of the particular examples right here on this document here. And it will go right away through. They're all numbered and there's a ton of them, as you can see here. I'll just quickly scroll through here and you'll see. And if I click on these, these are all uh, bulletins for the uh, releases for updates and patches that they've released over the years. 2015, you can see a big long list of them here. We also have 2014 and there's a big long list of these as well. And I'm not going to go through and read all of these. Just click on a couple of them. This one is vulnerabilities in the .NET framework could allow elevation of privileges. And again, we'll click on another one here, 2013. Just click on one of these random ones here. A vulnerability in Microsoft Office that could allow information disclosure. And Microsoft recommend updating, as it says right here, to fix the issue. Also could allow elevation of privileges again and another remote code execution. And the list goes on. I'm not going to go all through these, but I just wanted to show you uh, the dangers of not patching uh, your so operating system or even your software. So I hope that's the end of the debate on the uh, topic of updates. They are important uh, to your operating system and to the software that you use on your computer. And for all those people that say you don't need them, obviously don't know what they're talking about. And like I said with that analogy, that uh, it's like saying that you haven't wore a car seatbelt for 30 years and nothing's happened to you. It doesn't mean it won't happen, and it doesn't mean it hasn't happened to other people. That is just silly. So using that analogy that nothing's happened to you yet is just ridiculous. And I'll stand by my argument of telling people to download Office 2010, which is way outdated. It's not receiving any patches. It's pointless when you can use LibreOffice, which will be fully updated and safe to use. Same thing for operating systems. There is plenty of options out there. There's Linux that has plenty of options to choose from, which will be updated and keep you safe rather than using an outdated version of Windows XP or Windows 7 or whatever it is your flavor is but not using one that's kept updated is just ridiculous. Anyway, I hope that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd be happy to read your thoughts and reply to them. I shall catch you in the very next video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.